Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Today we are looking at one of the original Lego Star Wars sets. This is from 2000. This is set number 7134, the A-Wing Fighter. I got this used from Bricks and Minifig, so there are a couple pieces I don't exactly have. I'm also missing one of the figures. And I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was like 20, maybe 25, which is a little on the higher end. Uh, once we go over those prices, you'll see. Uh, this came out, like I said, in 2000 at 125 pieces and retailed for $14.99. I came with two minifigures, both of which are unique to this set. Uh, the one I have is the Rebel Pilot A-Wing. Uh, I don't have the face for it. They added a flesh tone, sort of generic face to this. And it was originally with, I'll show you here, a yellow face with sort of a headset. Uh, but I have the rest of the body, which I'm okay with. Um, it's in decent shape. Uh, I think there are some cracks back here in the butt. You can't really tell, but there's a little white line in there, right there, and it makes these legs pretty loose. And then the connection with the torso is actually pretty, pretty loose. Um, I don't think there's any cracks in the torso, though. Uh, the printing is still nice. There's not really any big scratches or anything, and they've got this pretty cool print on the helmet. Overall, it's in decent shape. I just need to get the face. Um, I do not have donut. I don't have the rebel engineer figure or the wrench that he comes with. You see him there. Like I said, these are both unique to this set. Um, they both go for about four to six dollars on Bricklink um, in the used condition to the, you know, low end for a little bit below that if you don't mind cracks. And then a lot of them are in the fives and sixes for pretty decent condition. And I didn't check above that because if most of the listings in good condition are about five or six, you don't want to be paying more than that. Um, the set itself, uh, you can get it used for about $15. Um, and that listing that I'm specifically stating, the $15, is the lowest price I could see that had all the minifigures included. You can get it for like $12 if, you know, if you don't want it complete or you're not, you know, you're okay with not having the figures. Um, a lot of the listings are between $15 and $25. So, you know, decently priced set for being, you know, 24 years old. Um, it doesn't use a lot of unique pieces, although I don't know how many sets have these in red. Um, there are eight sealed listings, seven of which are between $86 and $150, and there's one in Italy that's for $272, which I feel is just an arbitrary price, and you'd be insane to even consider buying that one. Like, I don't... I don't get why some people do those listings, but they do. They're out there. Uh, the shop also had a minimum fifty-four forty-five, so uh, I don't know. Fifty-four dollar minimum is sort of a uh, "don't shop here" sign for me. Um, those are all the stats. I'm gonna show you the little features of this. Uh, it's cute and small, um, which you know. The A-Wings were the smallest of the Rebel Fighters. Uh, it's got the side turrets that do swivel up and down. Um, they, A lot of the early Star Wars sets have this blue color as a detail. I want to say an accent piece, perhaps. Um, and a lot of them. I know I showed the original uh, Sith Infiltrator set for Darth Maul had a lot of blue in it as sort of a, a color accent, I guess. Um, like I said, I got this used, so there's not... These ones, I think, are 
the light not the light these are the, the bluish gray the more recent colors you see these are very aged light gray and that's probably the light bluish gray so it's not all original parts but it's basically complete uh i do like down here they made sort of a, a brick built version of this landing gear piece and i mean i kind of like those i didn't notice until right before making this video I mean, they're a little stubby but you know if i was gonna make my own ship it's not a bad little design for those i kind of dig it uh <laughs> there's not a lot of exterior features on this a lot of, not a lot of interior features either uh you've got the canopy that opens up on a hinge and a printed tile there uh, it's not a tile it's a printed brick and then the back also opens on a hinge and you get this really nice printed piece here as a little container like it doesn't come with anything to put in it um and then actually looking at the instruction manual here i don't think that piece is part of this set i mean yeah honestly it's a little more uh a little more detailed than they would have back in 2000 i didn't notice that until just now i like the print it's a very nice print and I don't know if this box is supposed to be white or gray. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, bought it used. I didn't even get to build this. Oh, no, the camera. Uh, that goes right in there. Um, I, I really don't think it came with anything to put in there. It just was a storage box. Um, like, you can't even fit the, the engineer's wrench in there. And, uh, oh, yeah, these two front wedges here are printed which are nice because a lot of these pieces have this sort of like you can see it in the reflection this texture I'm pretty sure all of them have that texture and, and stickers do not stay on those very well because it's not a flat surface you get air underneath the edges and it, they start to peel up and crack because they dry out and And it just doesn't look good because a lot of times you'll get like a decal on the, the canopy, which it stays very really good. And then 10 years later, it's still there, but the piece on the side is all crackly. I had that issue with the infiltrator. It had a couple stickers. Uh, luckily, this does not have any decals that you have to attach. Um, I just want to get, show you a quick little alternate builds down here. kind of miss how they uh used to have that okay yeah it is supposed to be white but i don't think it's supposed to be a printed piece man these instructions have seen way better days these are not in very good shape but it's good to have them the old classic lego star wars style these are great little things um I do have a couple of the later versions of the A-Wing. I will be doing videos for those eventually. And then I will be doing a comparison between this one and those ones. Uh, the later models are a lot sleeker looking. Uh, but you can't, you can't go wrong with this kind of blocky, you know, turn of the century style. They're cute. I like them. A lot of nostalgia. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I always like hearing your guys' thoughts down in the comments. I try to always respond to them. You guys get some funny little comments. They're great. Keep them coming. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.